hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this channel you know a lot of things is actually happening you know uh wolo shoyinka thinks that he can come and set up his p2b for drugs he doesn't know that p2b has an army army of warrior and an army of soldiers you know today reno mokri and uh, rufai hussein has actually battled uh, 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 on this particular issue remember reno mokri hates mr p2b there's nothing that uh mr p2b that will do that reno mokri will support rather anything that goes against mr p2b you will see reno mokri speaking from both sides of his mouth he hates mr p2b and that is why he's coming today to support uh what uh rufa yoseni actually did and said again uh, what uh, uh actually said against uh, mr p2b why on the other hand rufa yoseni attacked uh, uh Wolo Shenika for making such utterances against Mr. P2B and saying all, all those things that he said against the obedience. And this is why I brought this particular video so you could see how uh, Rufa Hussaini and uh, Reno Omokri had to, you know, attack with themselves and clash because of this uh, uh thing that Wolo Shenika said. Remember all the things that Wolo Shenika said against Mr. P2B. He said that P2B, as a matter of fact, you know, he, he should not contest for the 2027 presidential election. That he that he has an unfit team to lead Nigeria. You could imagine um, P2B has not even selected his economic team or teams or teams that would lead Nigeria. Woloshenika is busy ranting and opening his mouth to say uh, uh, all sorts of things. We, we know his actions. He was sent by Bola Metinibu to come and distract Nigeria from, from celebrating the failures of this evil government led by Bola Metinibu. Over one year, Tinibu government have plunged into economic hardship. Remember, Tinibu's, uh, this Woloshenika's son is an APC member and has of a, a, a rep member in Ogun State. So he knows what he's doing. He literally know, knows what he's doing because he's part of the APC and this criminality that is actually happening in, in APC government. And that is basically the truth. That is simply the truth. So he came out and said that P2B uh, should uh, uh, told his uh, obedience to attack him and to confront him and said all, all sorts of things. But, you know, I, I, I did that particular video yesterday and I showed you guys what uh, Wole Shereka said and how, how he claimed that P2B sent obedience to insult and attack him and do all, all sorts of things. Well, before we dive into what Reno Mokri and Rufa Yoseni said, said, please, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, as a matter of fact, don't hesitate to click on the notification button, subscribe, so you'll be getting important information and updates and controversial uh, political stories like this. Now, I told you guys that, uh, let me start with what uh, Reno Omokri said, you know, to, to, to show you uh, how biased it could be because he has seen that uh, 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 uh is speaking against Mr. P2B, so he decided to put more fuel to the fire that is already burning now look at what uh you know Omokri said after uh Wole Shenika said all, all manner of all, all sort of things against uh, mr p2b they said that the former presidential aide you know Reno Mokri was a former presidential aide to good lord jonathan and you know then he did not even do anything when he was given a, pl a platform to do something but he couldn't do anything they said as you can see on the screen they said uh Reno Mokri reacts to Wole Shenika's claim that p2b is unfit to be the nation's leader in a post on his verified Twitter page, Reno Mokri reacted to Wolo Shenika's claim that P2B's supporters, be, that P2B's supporters behavior leading up to the 2023 election was evident that Obi should not run, stating that Shoyinka is 100% right. This particular man, Reno Mokri, is saying that Wolo Shoyinka is 100% right. Like I said, he always supports anything that goes against Mr. P2B. And, and he went further to say, and he said, and that Nigeria cannot survive a regional candidate like Obi who Omokri accused of selectively speaking out about tragedies based on the region they occurred in. Now, remember that Wole Shoyinka said, uh, said this in an interview with Noble uh, Nigeria, which Sahara reporters broadcasted on Thursday. Omokri predicted that Obi supporters would respond by insulting and abusing and threatening Shoyinka for his comment. Look at, uh, uh, in his words, in Reno Omokri's word, look at what he said. He said, Wole Shoyinka is 100% right. Nigeria cannot survive a man who thorns to a parrot when disaster strikes in the north southwest and south south only to chop and claim out when it happens in Ibo land today he is condemning what happened in the uh he's condemning what happened he's condemning what happened today he's condemning what happened uh in the north was was there not a car accident that killed 16 people in Enugu two weeks ago did p2b talk about it yet when a car accident killed 14 people in kogi last month Obi was jumping all over social media, mocking them as being roasted alive. You could see the, the level of lies and manipulation that Reno Mokri is doing and twisting against Mr. P2B so that he can actually, you know, uh, 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 demarket him ahead of 2027. But we know his antics. I've told you people that Reno Mokri is just like a, 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 a roaming uh, uh, this thing that does not have any political influence, neither does he have any political uh, value in Nigeria. He's living outside the country. He cannot even come back to Nigeria to do anything. He cannot even come back to Nigeria to do any single thing. Now, uh, he went for that. So he was claiming that P2B always react to things that happen outside the Southeast region, which is basically and 
uh, uh, truly a lie. It is basically and truly a lie. Rino Mokri is signing against Mr. Pito. Pito B is always consigned with everything that happens in all the regions in the country. But Pito, but but, but Rino Mokri is just trying to paint him as if he's a regional candidate and all, all that. Well, let's go ahead. He said, Obi is a regional candidate. Nigeria is too unstable for an unstable president. Now, just watch as they insult and abuse and threaten Professor Wole Shenka. Like I've said, we all know where Rino Mokri will stand because he's a stomach infrastructure man since APC started paying him and giving him peanuts. You know, he has kept on ranting and shouting OB. He, he wakes up with OB. He sleeps on, on top of P2B's amount and everything. He has no direction because APC is paying him. But like my government is paying him. This was a man that criticized APC. This was a man that caught Tinibu a drug lord. This was a man that could to say all sorts of things and all manner of things against Balame and Tinibu. But that's that for what Reno Mokri said. Now let's dive to what Arufa was saying. The, 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 the well-seasoned uh, journalist we have in the country, you know, he's only journalists that I know that always speak true to power. Despite and regardless of whoever that is involved in that case, he will always speak truth to power and he's fearless. They said Rufai Hussein he defends P2B after showing Inka says he is unfit to lead Nigeria. Now look at what uh, Rufai Hussein said. They said that the popular on air personality and journalist whose name is Rufai Hussein has disagreed with a recent comment by Nobel laureate whose name is Professor Wole Shoenka, who said Peter Gregory will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party is unfit to lead the country. Rufai Hussein in his reaction says. He respects the role the statesman being Woloshenka has played in Nigeria, but disagrees with him on his submissions. He said, speaking on the words trending segment of, on, of the morning show on Friday, May 24th, he said, What about the people who were involved in ethnic strife? What about the people who carried out oral in the elections in Lagos? Professor Woloshenka has not said anything about that. What about the people who we are beating? Professor Woloshenka has not said anything about that. You know, like I've often said, that Rufai Hussein is fearless. Remember during the 2020 presidential election, even the USA have confirmed that 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 APC used talks to you know uh, suppress Igbos and other people from voting uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for Labour Party P2B and all that. Has Wole Shinika spoken anything about it? One year after the election, Wole Shinika has not come out to condemn the attacks, the people that were, were injured, the people that were almost killed by MC Ulomo and his talks in Lagos State. Wole Shinika gave deaf ears to that. He doesn't want to. He, he didn't want to talk about it. Rather, he was busy ranting. That P to B sent obedience to attack him. Meanwhile, in what in his very before and in his very eyes, he refused to condemn the rascality and ethnic and uh, and the and the and the, the ethnic card and other things that are uh, that Inibu's government actually played uh, 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 with the lives of Nigerians during the 2023 presidential election. During the 2023 presidential election, which is very sad and which is very pathetic. So Rufa Osen is calling him to order and telling him the truth. And tell him the truth. Wole Shenika never condemned these things. Rather, he was busy. He has been busy going from mic one microphone and podcast to another. Yeah, and other things that should be reconciled, like, that should be making reconciliatory moves, trying to bring the nation together. Rather, he's putting more fire and putting more disunity in the country. So the first thing he went for that, he said, he said, what about the people in a quarter who we are beating? All of a sudden, Orok came out because of the election. He is not talking about that, but this thing is always about Obi. And when we ask him to comment about the current uh, president he will say i don't comment after the election now it's one year he should comment but he will not still comment now uh rufai o o o Oseni is saying that look at what we he, is doing that he's being sentimental and selective in his talk that he refused to condemn this is that okay look at what is the economic hardship in the country because tinibu is his friend because tinibu is a uh, ally Woloshenka has refused to condemn all the rascalities illegalities and you know Bad things about this Balame Tinibu government have been doing in the country. The illegalities and the money and everything. He has refused to condemn. He said after one year that he is going to assess Tinibu's government. One year has passed. Wole Shenika has not said anything about Tinibu's government that has taken dollar to one five, that has taken fuel to one thousand. It was this same Wole Shenika who protested against Good Lord Jonathan, who did all sorts of things against Good Lord Jonathan because Good Lord Jonathan removed the same fuel subsidy that his friend Balame Tinibu removed. Then Tinibu and this Wole Shenika combined together to protest and remove a Good Lord Jonathan. Now he, he, he is giving deaf ears and he's not seeing the rascalities and the poor policies that his so called friend Bimbo Lame Tinibu is actually doing. So, this man, me, Rufa Oseni, had to expose uh, this uh, Wolo Shenka, expose his hypocrisy, expose his sentiments every time he's calling people to his name. He's not calling out Tinibu who is controlling and who is at the helm of affairs of this country. Absolutely nothing. He's not calling him, rather, he's calling somebody, a private citizen, every now and then he's talking about Pitobi. And you know, people have to put him in his place. That he's being sentimental. He is being sentimental and nothing but the truth. So this person said, lastly, uh, Rufa Hussein said, but we will not stop respecting him, being Wole Shenika for the role he played in Nigeria. I have a lot of respect for him because when it was time to stand tall, he stood tall in his country. 
and we have a lot of respect for him. But there are things you will say that we, we will disagree with. Uh, Rufa Yusen said that he will continue to respect Wolo Yusenka because, of course, in some certain points, he's too tall in, in, in difficult moments. But that does not mean that he will support everything, support his hypocrisy and sentiments in some certain issues and in some certain uh, 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 cases. I love how Rufa Yusenka tackled what this particular man, being a Wolo Yusenka, did. As for Renomokri, we know where Renomokri stands because any day he stops criticizing P2B, APC will stop paying Renomokri. So Renomokri should not even be considered in the scheme of things. He's a, a stomach infrastructure man and a political jobber. That is basically the truth. I would like you guys to drop your comment, share this video, and tell me what you think about this uh, uh, argument raised by Renomokri and uh, Rufai Usaini about uh, Ole Shenka's uh, comments on P2B.